All right, morning folks. Uh, here's another Illustrator tutorial for beginners. Um, really popular thing is this technique, this creative typographic art. Uh, a lot of people think that maybe it can be done, you know, using a few clicks in Illustrator. It is really easy to do. It's just there is a, a little bit of a process, so I'm going to show you that here today. So what we're going to do, first thing, uh, thanks to this link here, 30 Creative Advertisements uh, by the de designinspiration.com. Also, big shout out to Rogs for getting me going with this uh, online tutorial thing. Um, anyways, let's go and look for a Nike shoe. Or let's try Air Jordan. All right, one of my favorite players ever. So let's go and look for a pretty common side profile of a shoe. And I'm just going to use, yeah, let's go with, let's go with this, this look here. So I'm not even going to download the high res. I'm just going to download the low res. So we'll drag that over to the desktop here. Uh, so now I've got a couple files. So I've got my reference file here, and I've also got my shape file here. So I'll show you what I mean in one second. All right, so we're going to be using Adobe CS6 today, and this tutorial should work for any Illustrator version, whether you're working on a older or newer with Creative Cloud. Uh, or the next versions that come out, whatever they'll be called. Again, size of document doesn't really matter, but just for typical standard things, let's just start with a eight and a half or eight and a half by eleven flip to landscape mode, and we'll call this Air Jordan Creative Typography. We're not going to worry about bleeds or margins because we're just working with a piece of vector artwork for now. All right, so we're going to bring in both of those files. So bring our Air Jordan sneaker in, and we'll bring our reference file over there to the left. And I'll make this one a little bit smaller to the right. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this over. I like to make duplicates just because then I can always go back to the original. Uh, we'll call this scan layer. There we go. And I'm just going to 